Hello everyone and welcome back to Warriors the Untold Tales and we are here with Stormfur and her apprentice Thornpaw who she has been training and has taught to hunt but uh, she still has to teach Thornpaw to fight and for Stormfur that's a task that's easier said than done. It means that Stormfur is going to have to overcome her fear of the of battles and of the fact that she killed a cat by accident once and face her fears to learn to fight again. So I think she would probably tell Thornpaw to stay here at camp. We're going to turn off the apprentice mode or mentor mode and uh, let Thornfur or Thornpaw stay here. And I think we're going to talk to trainer Maple Stripe. We have 49 experience points and I think we are going to look into what you guys are saying is Herblore. Yes, we're going to get some uh, points in the Herblore skill. And we will... What do we have right now? We have Charge and Sprint and Intimidating Glare. I think she would take off Intimidating Glare in favor of this Herblore. Because Herblore will let you heal allies. And that, you guys have been telling me, is really important for teaching an apprentice to fight. Because otherwise they tend to die really, really easily. So, we're gonna go ahead and try and earn some more experience, which means that we have to do some fighting, which is not so nice, but she's going to have to. So we have to go to Shadow Clan. I think she would pointedly refuse to fight River Clan because she's not allowed to back down from battles with them, even if it means her death. So let's go ahead and drop that. And that's just to simulate the fact that she's kind of become notorious, if you will, in River Clan. Like, she's known for having killed a cat and for being ruthless, and so they are that much more vicious towards her. We're going to buy some food, and then we're going to go ahead and try and find that uh, Shadow Clan battle. But at some point here, is anything going on? Nope. Um, if any, at some point here, though, where she's going to have to learn to face that fear and uh, eventually go back and be willing to fight against River Clan as well. So let's come up here. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can... Whoa, okay, we're going to be very careful. Whoa, we have Silverheart, who's trying to fight as well. Whoa, and then... Um, okay, whoa, we don't want to accidentally kill anybody. We're going to be careful. All right, we're doing pretty well, I think. All right, and then Dusk Pelt. There we go, so we won this battle. We're going to go back. And uh, I think she's very careful to cross underneath. So let's go this way. All right, here we go. And we'll head this way. And let's see. Okay, so we gotta go back and talk. I'm hoping it's not lagging or anything for you because it almost looks like OBS is making it lag. But uh, hopefully that is not the case. So let's talk. Um, I think she would not take that quest. Uh, Shadow Clan, though, she will fight. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's not lagging for you guys or anything. If it is lagging for you guys, if you're seeing lag in your video, then uh, please let me know and I will do my best to address that. So let's see. Here we go. Let's head back up again. So we have Veteran Shade Fur is going to be a big problem. Okay, our health bar is going down. Okay, we have Haze Moss, and then we need to fight Veteran Shade Fur, I think. Um, we probably, oh gosh, that's a lot of Shadow Clan cats. And they took out our only ally, although we can summon allies. We can summon a patrol to help us. Okay, and then the other thing we can do right now is we can heal ourselves with this herb. And then, whoa, he's using some sort of crazy ability. Do they all go off? No, we have Haze Moss still. So he left. He chased them off screen. And then we should be able to take out Haze Moss. Yes, okay, so we won that battle. Let's use this herb to heal as well. And then Boulder Claw came to help us. Let's see. And we should be good there. We'll probably head out and grab some more Fever Few soon. Let's uh, pick that up. Let's actually go gather some more fever few if we can. Where are we? Oh, we were up behind the, the GY. That's what it was. All right. Boulder herb, be careful. Yeah, we had a very scary incident involving the uh, Thunder Path recently, too, where we saw a cat who was chasing us get killed. And uh, that was not a very good thing. 
And that was pretty traumatic for Stormfur as well. Whoa! What was that? We didn't see what clan it was, so technically we probably don't have to fight. But hopefully it wasn't River Clan. So let's that. Okay, we don't have to take these guys on. They were a Wind Clan. So let's come up here. I think we can find. Here's some more Fever Few. We usually find. Oh, and we should grab feathers while we're here as well, because sometimes we need feathers. Let's come up here, and then we'll look around and see if we can find any more fever few or more feathers. Because a lot of the time it does spawn in here. Here's more fever few. The reason we carry fever few is because we don't actually need it for any quests. So we're going to start heading back to camp and uh, see, we'll probably drop those feathers off and then I think we might talk with some of the males. Oh, here's a shiny thing. Let's grab that as well, because sometimes we need these. I think we might talk with some of the males, and I think Stormfur has been starting to get along, especially with one in particular. Uh, she has spent quite a lot of time chatting with them, and I think she's started to befriend one of them a little bit more. So, and then we'll probably uh, say goodnight to a Thornpaw, because Thornpaw has been waiting here in camp all day while Stormfur goes to train herself. So let's see, I think we needed feathers, yes. And then we need more feathers, all right. So let's actually drop one of these shiny things up here, and then we're gonna actually bring the other to Spot Whisker. So I think uh, Stormfur has actually been um, getting to know Spot Whisker a little bit better. And uh, yeah, we'll possibly start bringing him gifts and potentially courting him, so we'll have to see. And then let's have uh, Thornpaw come back. I think she would kind of nuzzle her goodnight. And I feel like Stormfur is very motherly towards Thornpaw, and then they would curl up in the moss there and rest. Okay, so we are... Uh, we're quite hungry and thirsty. Let's see how much um, experience we've earned. Do we have enough? We don't have quite enough to upgrade Herblore again, do we? Where is... Here, yeah, we need 30. So we don't have quite enough. We gotta get our next quest, and I think she would tell Thornpaw to stay again. So once again with Shadow Clan, and then I think we're gonna tell Thornpaw to stay here. And then we've got to go um, buy some food and get something to drink, and then we're gonna go fight Shadow Clan again. So we are down a little on our health. I think she would also want to up the strength of her claws, potentially, so that if she had to, she could intervene and help um, help Thornpaw get out. Is anything going on? No suspicious activity, so that's good. Um, let's not walk towards Thunderpath. We're gonna just slip by right underneath it. I don't think that was where we were supposed to fight, but that was indeed Shadow Clan. So it's up here. Deputy Shadefoot. Oh my goodness. That's that's a very powerful cat. Okay. I think we might need to summon a patrol to help attack this guy. Because I don't think we're going to be able to take him. Is he healing? He's been healing even. Oh no. Oh no. That's no good. Alright. Okay. We're going to have to fight. Alright. I'm going to hopefully this goes well. Please tell me this is going to go well. Okay, he is doing a lot of damage to us. Are we going to be able to take him out? I don't know if we're going to be able to take him out. He's so strong. All right, no, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to risk... I don't think we can risk our life here. No, it's getting to be too much. We have to heal at the very least. Let's use the herbs to heal. And see if we can evade him. Whoa. Let's see. We got to use another herb to heal. I think it might be at the point where we just want to start having using reputation to heal. But this might save us for a little bit longer. We gotta take this guy out if we can. Yeah, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we've gotta go. Oh, she's bleeding too. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. We gotta cross here. I think she come limping back to camp very, uh, very upset and, and injured and would definitely in need of medical attention. So let's talk with Cloudleaf. We need to buy herbs. We need to buy a lot of herbs. This is why it's good to have a lot of reputation. <laughs> and uh, we need to go look for more fever few. Because we have to go back there and finish the fight. Whoa, let's not walk up towards Thunderpath if we can help it. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but yeah, we definitely need to go back there and finish that fight. Let's see. No. They're all novices. Maybe, maybe I think she might... 
I don't know. There's a lot of them. I don't think she would fight against them. I also think she prefers not to fight novices unless she can help it. Because she herself was basically a novice and she doesn't want... It, it, she's kind of... She doesn't feel cats that age should really be subjected to the horrors of war, perhaps. And of, of battle. She would rather see them at least have a chance to, um... Oh, there's feathers. To still be kind of young and live their lives and not have to worry, have all this weighing down on them like it did for her. Alright, we gotta go this way. We almost can summon another patrol, which is good. Let's see. Alright. Alrighty, here we go. She is a very noble and loyal cat who I think would defend her clan to the death if she had to. But at the same time, she's not going to recklessly endanger herself and she's going to do her very best not to endanger others if she doesn't have to. Alright, let's see. We probably would need to up our, um, our claw strength before we'd be able to. There's some fever few. There's two fever few. We try to carry three on us at all times, especially when we're fighting. So, let's see. Oh, nope. 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 That's a nope. We're gonna go this way and see if we can just reach the battle like this. Because I would think we can. We should be able to, right? If not, we'll be far enough up so that we're not going to accidentally run into camp. Oh, Deputy Shadefoot is still here. It's still him. Okay, we got him. Oh, good. Okay, I think she would hurry out of there and... Whoa! Oh, she got- I don't know exactly what happened, but she got injured a little bit. <gasps> That's a dog! Okay, we're running out of there as fast as we possibly can. That's not good. Uh, that's- that's actually really scary. Um, that is- oh my gosh. They're very, very rare, <laughs> apparently, but I guess we do have them. And, uh, let's see. Let's make sure we go get, uh, some food. Oop, there we go. And her health is down a little bit, but not that much. I think she'd bring some feathers up for the kits. And then... Let's see. We should bring a shiny thing for the kits as well. Let's pick up one. Here we go. Oop, there we go. And... We do have one more, but I think she would want to actually save it for... Spot Whisker! Hello, Spot Whisker! What do you say? Oh, hey, Stormfur. And uh, I think she would give him this. Oh, is this for me? There we go. And let's talk to Trainer Maple Stripe and see if we can get the Herb Lore skill up again. So here we go. We should be able to. Yes. And I think we want to get it up one more level if we can before we'd be ready to take, um, to take Thornpaw into battle. But I think we will maybe hunt a little bit with Thornpaw first just to kind of keep her sharp with all of it. And uh, I think Storm for her and Thornpaw both really enjoy it. Oh, here, come here. There we go. Let's just see if there's anything we can do. So technically her hunting bar is filled up. But she's getting really good at this. Let's see. Uh, she's definitely getting to be a very good hunter. Oh, there's one more mouse. You can go see if you can catch that real fast. There we go. And then let's head back. We'll drop these in the fresh kill pile on the way. Here we go. Oh, careful, Thornpaw. There we go. Drop, drop, and then we'll drop these. There we go. And we will curl up for the night, I think. Oh, it's not quite in time. There it goes. There we go. So that healed her up quite a bit, too. And then, oh! Help, help, Stormfur, you're the medicine cat's helper, right? You have to help me. Long Kit ran away last night. He didn't tell me where he went, but he probably didn't go too far away. He might be dead. Help me find him. Please go, please go find him. Oh my goodness. Uh, we have to go, okay. That's, t that takes precedence. There's a kid out there who's in danger, and we have to find him. So, I've, I've heard of this, but I don't know where exactly we're looking. So, let's see. I don't know if we have to look down here. I don't actually know where we would need to look. I don't know if we I think we'll check down here, even though River Clan 
even though we're near River Clan. Is there anything down here? No, there's not. Okay. We I think we want to check the area surrounding Thunder Clan Camp if we can. So let's see what happens if we go this way. We can go down below. There we go. This this is gonna take precedence. So Thornpaw is following us too. So that's I think the lower border of camp. And I think if we go this way, that's still the border of camp. I'm gonna try and circle it if I can. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this anything? Nope, that's not anything apparently, I don't think. Long Kit! Oh, he's out behind camp. Oh my goodness, okay, okay, all right. Long Kit is cold to the touch but still breathes heavily. Perhaps his young life can yet be saved. Press enter to leave. Um, I think we're supposed to give him an herb. I believe that's what I've heard. So what if we do this? Okay, press spacebar to get the kit to give the kit some herbs. So that is a possibility. So I think there we go. Color returns to Long Kit's face. He smiles weakly, thanks you, and walks back to camp. Press enter to leave. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That was scary. <coughs> I didn't even know there was a back area here. What is back here? There's more Thunder Path. There's a tunnel at the end of it. Whoa! What is this place? I don't like the looks of this place. All right, there is, okay. There is Goldenrod here, let's bring that back. Oh man, I'm so glad we found him. I had heard about that, but oh my gosh, that was pretty scary. All right, let's see. Oh, Thornpaw here, you can you can keep up, it's okay. I know you're slower. Oh, no, 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 okay, no. Oh my gosh, Thornpaw, no, no, Thornpaw. Okay, please tell me you're okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get out of here. We just got ambushed by Shadow Clan. I feel like Storm 4 would quickly rush Thornpaw back to camp. And, uh, okay, can you come over here? Are you able to come over here? Here, we're gonna get into camp. I feel like she would just rush her back to camp as quickly as she could and kind of look her over and make sure she's okay. I don't know. I don't know if she needs healing or not, but we're going to uh, use our herb lore skill and hopefully that will heal her. Oh my gosh, she just ran right up there to fight. I think Stormfur sees a lot of herself in Thornpaw. Her young self who is very eager and ready to just rush in. But I think that would probably make her even more scared of bringing Thornpaw out to fight. I think she'd be very afraid of her getting hurt. So let's go ahead and we will buy something there. Can we visit Longkit? Longkit is, Long is okay, okay. All right, are you... We can't talk. What if we talk to Shine for... Okay, she just has another quest. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh, it was Bramble Kit who called for help, I think. So, are we able to talk to Bramble Kit? We can't. Okay, let's bring Thornha back here, I think. And I think Stormfur would probably tell her to stay here. And uh, just tell her to wait here for the rest of the day. There's a little time left in it. And I think we'll drop our golden rod down here. But I think she'd be very shaken from that, and I think she would probably even go looking for a fight herself because she'd be a little bit angry about how... Okay, so there we go. I don't think we have any items to get at the moment. Wrong, wrong cat. There we go. We gotta talk, go, talk to Shadow Clan. I think she would be kind of happy to fight um, Shadow Clan at this point because she can't believe that they would go after an apprentice like that that she wasn't even there to fight, but they came after her apprentice, who's obviously young. Whoa. It's filled up under here. What? I didn't know that could happen. Apparently it filled up with water? All right, we have, all right. Oh, there's what just happened? Okay, an ambusher. I don't know what that even means, really. Apparently what he just did, though, is something different. I think she would probably, be very angry and just fight these guys. Oh, Swamp Heart left. Okay. I think she would just be very angry and would end up uh, fighting them and chasing them off and probably feeling a little better about that then um, and just be like, don't you mess with my apprentice. She's honestly very, very motherly towards Thornpaw. Uh, she cares deeply about her and is, is very attached and I think would probably be devastated if anything ever happened to her. So let's go ahead and buy a bonus coin because our, um, and maybe some herbs 
because we, our reputation is filling up. And then let's talk to Cloudleaf and buy some herbs. And then we'll come over here and I think get another quest if we can. One last one for the day. So again, with Shadow Clan, there seems to be a lot of conflict with Shadow Clan. And I mean, I guess we are right next to him. But oh my gosh. Yeah, I think Stormfur was very upset over that bleak fur. I've never seen bleak fur before. <sighs> oh gosh, that was a little bit freaky. But I feel like, okay, we're alone, so we're gonna summon a patrol and have them help. Okay, well, they're both leaving. Oh, there's a lot, okay. All right, see, okay, we got one. There we go, we should be able to, okay, we won. Uh-oh. Uh, veteran Duskheart, I feel like she would kind of scoot out of the way at that point because this wasn't a battle she was told to fight even though she is angry. I think by this point she's kind of calming down a little. So I guess when it rains that pools up under there and you can't cross it, rains or snows. But um, I think she's feeling a little better now that she's fought and won against Shadow Clan a couple of times. So let's make sure we uh, drop this shiny thing off here. We'll give that to Shine Fur. And then smooth rocks, let's give them some of those. And just kill a little time before bed. And then we'll go ahead and sleep through the night. Let's see. And then, okay, it's a shiny thing quest. So we'll go ahead and sleep through the night here. We'll call uh, Thorn and Thornpaw back. I feel like Thornpaw doesn't really have much family. Maybe Birchleaf. She might be related to Birchleaf, but I don't know. I can almost feel like she doesn't really have a lot of family, and Stormfur has kind of taken her in in many ways and protects her like she would her own kit. So let's go ahead and sleep through the night. And then um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.